Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to quickly look at some sheet metal. So this is a simple cube. And we're going to look at two different ways to do this. Um, so the first way is I've just created an extrusion. It's 100 by 100 by 100. So it's just a, a cube. And then if I go over to sheet metal tab, I can go convert to sheet metal. So what this is doing is it's taking your solid and converting it to sheet metal. Now there's a few things we need to do. Um, so the first um, thing that it's asking for, it's selecting a fixed entity. Um, I'm considering that my bottom because if I um, hit the space bar and go into my isometric view, that's the, the bottom one. So we'll choose that as my fixed entity and now I'm going to um, click my bend edges. So this is where um, my part is going to bend. So I can go around the bottom here and collect those bottom four edges. And now those are all um, bends. And then we'll click one of these top ones to get that um, top edge. So quickly, it converts it to sheet metal. And depending on those parameters you initially had in there. Um, so if we unsuppress, that is the part. And so this is my fixed entity, this middle part. And these are the four bends. And then I selected this one. So depending on which one you bend, which um, things you select to bend, um, can change how you can unfold it. So I'll show that real quick as well. So we're back to our solid cube. So I'm going to go convert entities. So this is the thickness of the metal and this is the bend radius. Um, so if you want to change those at all, um, you can, but I'm going to keep that as my fixed entity. And now I'm going to collect my bends. I'm going to go all the way around and then I'm going to select those back two edges. And what that will do is it will unfold my pattern in a little bit different way. So now it's like this, as opposed to last time, it w there were four coming off of here. So depending on how you um, select your bend edges and which is your fixed entity, you can change how your flat pack or your flat pattern will be. So that's going from a solid. Now, if we want to start from, from scratch and do sheet metal, we can do that. So we can, we'll start with just our square. So I'm just gonna do a 100 by 100 rectangle. Finish my sketch. And now I'm already into my sheet metal. So I want my base flange. So it's a two millimeter thick. And this is just some information about um, the bends and how your sheet metal will be. Um, but I'm just creating a flange and it's just that rectangle. The easiest way now is to do my edge flanges. So depending on how I want um, my um, parts to come off or my my folds to come off so I I want that one a hundred we'll go from we'll do an edge flange from this one and we'll do that at a hundred so again in SolidWorks there's a lot of information in this left part we can do an edge flange we'll go off of this one and we'll do this one a hundred so you'll notice here, it says warning, this part intersects itself after a bend operation. So there's some strangeness going on in, in this corner. So let's go ahead and quickly fix. Um, instead of that one, we'll do a bend outside and that will just kick, kick that fold out. And that clears everything up. Um, so this next one, we'll do an edge edge flange from here like that a hundred again that one's causing issues 
So kind of as you're building, you can um, maybe figure some of that out as you go. Um, and we'll do one more edge flange. And we'll make it 100 here. And again, because those corners are a little no worries, you can just go in here. So I'm I'm material outside, but it depends on where you're looking at the outside. So now we're looking at it here. So again, depending on how you, which edge you select to do your edge flange will change um, what your flat pattern will will look like. So this one's kind of a, a wonky design, but you know maybe that's what, what you want. So that's sheet metal, um, very basics 101. Thanks for listening.